Hello and welcome to a tutorial video on port forwarding using Amazon Web Services. This is going to be uh, on a Mac mostly, but a lot of the steps are identical. Um, the only difference is going to be how you do the SSH uh, command. Uh, we're going to be using Terminal, but uh, for Windows users you're probably going to have to use PuTTY. Uh, and you can get more information uh, from Amazon Web Services themselves. So. What we're going to be doing today is we have a very simple server that uh, is listening on port 8080. And when we run this and go to localhost 8080, we can see that we have a test HTML file that's being served up here. Uh, and right now, though, this is only accessible from our local machine. So what we're going to do is make this accessible from anywhere in the world, uh, as long as someone has a network connection. And to do this, we're going to use the Amazon Web Services uh, EC2 instance. So if you don't have an account already, there's a link in the uh, description of the video to get over here. And you're going to have to create an account. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to create an EC2 instance. So over here, we're going to create a new instance. We're going to use an Ubuntu instance. Uh, the micro T2 Micro is totally fine because there's not going to be much on here uh, and it's eligible for free tier so you don't have to even pay to get this uh, access. So we're going to uh, go over here to the configure security group and we're going to add a new rule and it's going to be all traffic from anywhere is allowed because we're just going to be transmitting data through the EC2 instance. Uh, from anywhere to our computer and then back out to anywhere. So all we have to do, uh, we're gonna hit review and launch, then launch. And now we're going to create a new key pair. If you don't already have one, that's fine to, to set up. If, if you want to choose, use an existing key pair, if you already have an Amazon Web Services instance, uh, an Amazon Web Services account, that's fine too. But uh, we'll do create a new key pair. So here's our key pair is gonna be Ports, doesn't matter what the name is, um, and then we're going to download the key pair, and we need to know where that is for later, and then we're going to launch the instance. Okay, so the instance is now launching. Uh, if we go to um, our EC2 instances here, I have a number of instances, but this is our new one, so I'll call that port tutorial and we see that it's initializing uh, and it's it's getting ready to run so while we're here let's uh, go find that port forwarding pem file and what we want to do is we want to bring it into a very accessible place so that we we know how to use it so we're gonna wait a few minutes for the uh, instance to run and then we're gonna continue Okay, now that our instance is now running, uh, it, it doesn't matter if the status check is still initializing, that's just uh, for the Amazon backend to show information about it. So we're now running, and what we're gonna do is we're going to hit this connect button. And here's where um, the Windows version is going to change slightly. Uh, Windows users may have to use this uh, putty. Mac users, it's built into terminal. So what we're going to do is first, we're going to make our PEM file uh, only privately viewable. So we're going to go chmod 400, and we can just drag this right in, enter. And then we're going to connect, so ssh-i, we're gonna drag that PEM file back in here, and we can just copy this right over to here. We're going to say yes, we're sure we want to connect, and then we're going to let the terminal SSH connect right into Ubuntu. So you should see, welcome to Ubuntu, we're now connected, and now we have to change a couple things uh, about our network instance so that we can correctly port forward. So uh, if you ever want to uh, see where you are, you can just list the files, figure out, so uh, I already know we need to cd back to, so it's e there, and 
and see the uh, two dots again. So now we're back at the root directory. And now we want to go into etc and SSH. So we do cd tc slash SSH. Now that we're here, uh, we can list the files that we're we see, and we want to be editing the SSH config. Unfortunately, there's no GUI for this, so we're going to have to edit it using VI. Um, SSH config is a important file, so we need uh, root access. So the way we do that is we do sudo VI SSH D config. We're uh, doing the SSH D config, not the SSH config. Um, because this is the setting that we need to change. So we're going to hit enter. And now we're in here. We can scroll however we want. Um, the thing we're adding is we want to allay, allow gateway, uh, gateway ports. And let me make sure that that is how the exact the Uh, okay, yeah, gateway ports. So the way we do that is we um, hit C to edit. So hit C, uh, and we hit C again. And see now uh, you can see that there's an insert right here. And what we're going to do is we say gateway ports, yes. Now we hit escape, and we hit uh, just type wherever. It doesn't matter where the blinking cursor is right now. You just type uh, colon and it pulls your cursor down to the bottom, and X. And now we just hit Enter. So now uh, we've changed the SSHD configs so that we're allowing gateway ports. Now all we have to do, uh, we need to restart the SSH service. So we do sudo service res, uh, SSH restart. And we see that uh, it stopped. And then it's now running. So now what we've done is we've adjusted the SSHD configs to allow gateway ports through. And we've reset the SSH to allow the, um, to enable those changes. So now all we have to do is we are going to create a new connection. And the way this one works is it's SSH dash capital R. And then whatever port you want to, to use. So I'm going to do 8080. And then it's localhost 8080. And what this does is any um, information that comes in to Amazon services from 8080 is going to be directed to our local machine at 8080. So that's the port number. We're going to drag in this PEM file. And now we're going to do Ubuntu at and the uh, place that we need to go is going to be in our EC2 management console. We have this port tutorial, the public DNS uh, address. So it should be right here. And now we hit enter. Oops, sorry. Uh, I you, you have to add an I, SSH. R eighty eighty local host eighty eighty dash i then we put the pem file in and then we do Ubuntu act and that website yes and now we've so successfully connected so. What we can do now is with our server listening on 8080, we go to here, and if we just put in this, we should get no nothing available. But if we now change it to port 8080, we get the test uh, website index served up, and you can go to this website if your client is connected using this. As long as the terminal window is open, you'll be forwarding everything from 8080 into this address, right to your computer, and then right back out. 
So if we did any other type of more serious logic, we would see that it, we got that logic, uh, that we got hit, and then we sent some information back. So that's all you have to do to uh, port forward uh, using SSH. Um, so now all you have to do is give people this uh, address and a port, and they can access the content served up from your local machine.